Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide and welcome to the second video on uh, using the JavaScript MQT clients with uh, WebSockets. In this video we're going to do a little more complicated script and we're going to create a form and we're going to publish and subscribe and view messages using that form. Now I showed you the the script in the in the first video and if you haven't watched the first video then I recommend you you go and view that first before you view this video uh, because it goes through the the basics so let's have a look at the script and let's have a look at the script how it works and then we'll go and talk about it so this is the script here it's called WebSockets 3 and to run it I just click it So there it is here. Now at the top here's a status bar and you can see the connection status is not connected and I've just used a cascade in style sheets to color this so we can actually see it a bit clearer. Now we've got a little form here to enter the server and the port and then we connect and then we have a subscribe form here and then we have a publish form down here and we have another status area here for the for messages so we see some messages ap appearing here. Now, the script consists of three forms. So there's the first form, there's the second form, and there's the third form. Now remember, before we can actually publish or subscribe, we need to connect. So we use the connect form. Now, what I'm going to show you is, uh, what I didn't show you, what I meant to show you in the first video was a, a failed connection, because if you remember back to the first video, we included the ability to capture um, a failed connection. So let's put the server in there and let's put the port but we're going to use a, a wrong port number I'm using port 901 and I'm going to put 902 there so that should fail so if I just click on connect you can see here it's connection retrying and again it's on a two second interval it will keep retrying indefinitely because I'm not connected if I try to subscribe I should fail as well and you can see here whether you let's do it again uh, I'm not sure whether you saw that message not connected so we can't subscribe and then the same with the publish we shouldn't be able to publish either so not connected so can't send okay so that's the the script we're going to create. Now here is the script. Um, we start off with some styling and this basically styles the message areas and then we go into the main part of the script and remember everything we um, all the functions are contained in the header tags and here we start off the script here. So We've got a connection loss function, an on failure function, on a message arrive function, an on connected. Uh, sorry, that on connected is not used. Uh, I'm still actually trying to find out what it does. Uh, we on connect is the one we're going to use, and then we got the connect function. Now it looks very similar because it is very similar to what we did previously in the other video except there's a lot more code in there uh, because we're doing a lot more things in there. And remember what I said about the document.write, don't use it, it's commented out there. Okay, right at the bottom of the code we've got the HTML and this is where the forms are so we've actually got three forms there's one form there's another form and there's a, another form and at the bottom we've got a message area this is the one that showed in yellow if you remember back a couple of seconds where I tried to connect and it says connection failed uh, that's that message area here now what I'm going to do is take you through this code because the functions and the forms they they work the same so I'm just going to take you through one form and how it links to the function and I'm going to explain that in a bit more in a bit more detail 
and as I say all the forms work basically the same so let's have a look at the the code for that so here's the code what I've got here is the message area that I showed you earlier right at the bottom of the page and it's got an ID of messages and here's the form and it's I've got the subscribe form here this is the, the one that actually calls the subscribe function to subscribe to the topics and there is the subtopics function that does the, the subscribing you can see here the form name is subs the action there's no action now normally in here you would have a, a call to a PHP script remember we're not using a server at all so we don't need that so that is a, a blank and on submit we return subtopics basically when I press, press the submit then it calls this subtopics function and it returns the value now all of the functions and this is very important always return false see I've underlined it here so they all return false now if you don't return false then what happens is the page refreshes and by returning false it doesn't refresh the page so we still sit there and by doing that we can actually fill out the various fields so very important that they all return false so when this function gets called the first thing it does is clear the message area so it uses the documents getter element by ID now I don't use the jQuery and most people would use it here I uh, say I'm not a JavaScript expert and I wanted to keep this basic and so I'm using the document get element by ID to actually write to the screen so we clear the message area and then later on you can see that we output the message here so if connected flag is zero what I've got is on the connect on the on connect function when it actually connects it sets the flag and it sets the flag to one if it's set to zero it means it's not connected so if it's not connected I can't subscribe and that's what I, I demonstrated earlier if we try to subscribe without a connection we just get a message can't subscribe and we log that in two places I log it to the console I didn't actually show you that in the demo and I also log it to the screen now it's better logging it to the screen because then the user doesn't have to enable the the web console and that's why I've done it here so we log it to the console and log it to the screen with this call here and I say it returns false if the connected flag is one then that doesn't execute we go to here and this simply extracts a topic and then we console.log we log the fact we're actually subscribing to the topic and then we do the subscribe and then we return false so that's it very simple now all of the forms work the same way so if I show you the publish one it does the same thing it calls the publish function and if I show you the connect one it does the same thing it calls the connect function remember they all return false so we don't refresh the screen okay just return back to the script and I just want to show you a few things in the script uh, the function on connection lost this is an additional function it basically will log messages when we lose the connection if the connection drops and I'll, I'll demonstrate that in, in a second and if we go down to the in the connect function here you can see I've uh, created a callback for that on connection loss function uh, I've commented out the on connected callback um, as I say I haven't worked out what that actually does yet and so I'm just leaving that for the time being but don't forget that we do have an on connect function and that's linked to this on connect callback here and we've seen that working earlier on okay now we're we're ready to run it and we're ready to run it uh, to make it work so we put the right server address and we put the right port number in and we connect and you see here connection status not connected and now we're connected and we get a message here that we connected as well now we can subscribe so we're going to subscribe on sensor one and subscribe I'm missing the message I didn't actually put it in there uh, something that you can do yourself it's to get it to uh, display a message that is actually subscribed 
and now we're going to publish a message this is a test and we're going to publish the sensor one and remember because we're subscribing to sensor one and publishing the sensor one we should actually receive the message so let's submit that and here we are we've received the message and received on the the topic so that's it that's the script working now i've just moved over onto the server and i'm just going to simulate a connection fail by stopping the the broker just control c and let's go back and look at our connection and you can see here we're displaying the message connection lost and again connection lost here so the connection loss function also works and now if i click on subscribe it gives me a message i can't cause subscribe because we're not connected and again i shouldn't be able to publish either so i can't publish because we're not connected we should expect if the connection is lost so let's try reconnecting and it failed it failed because the broker is still stopped i haven't restarted it and so a little script appears to be functioning uh, quite well so that's the the end of this this video the, the second video and i hope you found it, it useful and i hope it uh, gets you started with creating uh, your own um, javascript uh, scripts for mqtt over web sockets uh, i'll put a link for the previous video in the description below there's some resources there you'll find useful to say this is the main page here uh, using the JavaScript MQTT client uh, with WebSockets and it, that has links to the other articles and also to the download page as well. I'll put the, the script as part of the other script so all the three scripts will be in the, in, the, in the one package and you can download all three scripts. So that's the end of the video. If you've got any comments then please leave them below. If you like the video then you can use the like button below. And if you want to be informed of new videos uh, as I publish them, then you can always subscribe to the channel. And I say I do publish a newsletter. You need to go over to the site to subscribe to it. So until next time, bye.